Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Everything Medicare Podcast. I'm Christian Brindle, where every single week I bring you a podcast where I talk about your Medicare, your Medicaid, your Social Security, and everything that has to do with the golden age of retirement. And you may be noticing, if you're listening to this um, as it comes out, that we are bringing you an episode this week on a Saturday. Today is the 16th of March, 2019, and if you listen to our episode uh, Monday, you know that we are experimenting with bringing you two podcasts a week because we've had such high demand for it. So that's why you're hearing from me twice this week. And depending on how good of a reception we get, we, will, we may continue doing this. But for now, it's just an experiment. So I'll keep you posted on if this is going to be a permanent change going forward. Folks, today I want to talk about an article that came out from the Washington Post. Um, I thought this would be a good, nice topic. This came out today, actually, March 16th. came out 11 o'clock in the morning today by Michelle Andrews, who's a Washington Post writer under the health and science category. Um, I will put a link up to this on my Twitter and so and social medias for our company, Christian Brindle Insurance Services. Basically, the article talks about something that I've talked about before, but I thought it would be a good topic for me to dive into and kind of provide more insight for. And the the title of the article is Medicare Wellness Visits Are Supposed to Be Free Unless You Call It a Physical. So this is what the article talks about. The article says that a beneficiary, somebody on Medicare, Beverly Dunn is her name, She called her primary care doctor's office in November to schedule an annual checkup. Most people nowadays will like to have an annual physical, an annual checkup to make sure everything's okay. It's the most common type of preventative care you're going to see because it's the easiest way for doctors and physicians to diagnose different diseases and conditions and catch them at the beginning stages so that they don't get worse and progress. And typically, most in, most health insurance is gladly willing to cover them at no charge, or if they do charge anything, it's not going to be much, because it saves them a lot of money over the long haul because they nip it in the butt before it comes a big problem and they don't have to shell it as much money, right? It, it, it makes sense, but not in the Medicare world. <laughs> and... We will, do- we will talk about this. I-, I talked about this a little bit on our or one of our earlier episodes called What Does Medicare Cover and What Does It Not Cover? don't remember the specific name, but it's something along those lines. So I'm going to keep going with what the article says. So Beverly Dunn called her new primary care doctor's office last November to schedule an annual checkup. She assumed her Medicare coverage would pick up most of the tab. The appointment seemed like a routine physical, and she was pleased that the doctor spent a lot of time with her until she got a bill of $400. Dunn, 69 years of age, called the doctor's office assuming there was a billing error, but it was no mistake, she was told. Medicare does not cover the annual physical exam. And this is a fact, folks. This is a fact. Now, I want to clarify something. Someone on original Medicare with a supplement or a Medigap, same thing, is not the same as a person that has a Medicare Advantage Fund. And if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you already know this. But if you're a new listener, this is incredibly important to understand. So Medicare provides a person with what's called as an annual wellness visit, which does not check as many things as a regular physical does. It's like a less detailed physical. Okay? Now, when a person gets on to Medicare for the first time, they are granted a, 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 a physical. They call it a welcome to Medicare physical. And you get that one time within your first year. If you don't use it in the first year, you don't get it again. But other than that, Medicare will not pay for that. Now, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, remember this fact. Medicare Advantage plans work like this. They take the place of original Medicare. They become your primary insurance. Right? So the private insurance company that you pick with an Advantage plan becomes your primary insurance. So it's not the same as having original Medicare, 
Original Medicare pays nothing towards your medical bills from that point going forward. Instead, they fund the Advantage Plan Company, whichever one you pick, every month to take care of you. So, Advantage Plans are required to cover everything that Medicare covers, but what a lot of people don't know is there's a lot of things extra that they cover that Medicare does not cover. And the physical is one of those. They give you a physical one time a year, no charge, and there's a, and they basically will provide you almost any preventative care that you are looking for. At least most Advantage Plans work this way. I'm sure there's some exceptions. But for the most part, 99 out of 100 Advantage Plans will give you a physical one a year, no out-of-pocket. So we're not talking about Advantage Plans. If you have advantage, an Advantage Plan and you're listening to this and you think, well, I got a physical last year and the year before and this year... Um, with my Medicare plan. And if you have an Advantage plan, I'm not talking about you, and this article is not talking about you. This is primarily talking about people that have original Medicare. Medicare Part A and B, no Advantage plan in the mix, um, and they might have Medicare on its own, which not many people do, and it's foolish to have that on its own primarily, But or they might have a supplement. Okay, so let me preference preference this. I don't want there to be any confusion whatsoever. I'm going to keep reading. She was told that Medicare does not cover an annual physical exam. The Austin report, or excuse me, the Austin resident was tripped up by Medicare's confusing coverage rules. Federal law prohibits the health care program from paying for annual physicals. The patients who get them may be on the hook for the entire amount, but beneficiaries pay nothing for an annual wellness visit, quote unquote, which the program covers in full as a preventative service. The article continues to say, it is very important that someone, when they call to make an appointment, uses those magic words, annual wellness visit, said Leslie Fred, 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 I'm not sure how to say her name, Um, sorry, Leslie, Senior Director of the Center for Benefits, Access, and National Council on Aging. Otherwise, people think they are making an appointment for an annual wellness visit, and it ends up they are having a complete physical. An annual physical typically involves an exam by a doctor along with blood work and other tests. The annual wellness visit generally doesn't include a physical exam except to check routine measurements such as height, weight, and blood pressure. So, in a nutshell, like I said from the beginning, an annual wellness visit is a less detailed physical. They don't look at as many things. The regular physical is going to give you more of a look. They're going to check more things. They're going to be more thorough. It's a better thing to have if you have the choice. However, if you have original Medicare as your payee, It's the only type of health insurance, personally anyway, that I have ever seen in my entire career and lifetime that will not pay for a physical. It's ridiculous and it's outrageous. But this is something that you need to know. And I thought that that actually made a Washington Post article. It would be a great thing for me to talk about with you today. I'll go over a little bit more on this article and then I'll make some comments about it. Okay. Da, da, da. The focus of the Medicare wellness visit is on preventing disease and disability by coming up with a personalized prevention plan for future medical issues based on the beneficiary's health and risk factors. As their first wellness visit, patients will often fill out a risk assessment questionnaire and review their family and personal medical history with their doctor, a nurse practitioner, or physical assistant, or physician assistant, excuse me. The, the, the provider will typically create a schedule for the next decade of mammograms, colonoscopies, and other screenings that evaluate people for congenitive problems and depression, as well as their risks to fall and other safety issues. They may also talk about advanced care planning with beneficiaries to make decisions about what type of treatment, medical treatment they want in the future if they cannot make decisions for themselves. One thing this article is not touching on, I've noticed, is the doctors cannot accurately, in my personal opinion, they cannot accurately put this plan into place if they're not checking as thoroughly as they need to. And with an annual wellness visit, they don't check everything as thoroughly as they would a regular physical. 
This is really important because if they're not checking as many things, there might be something that they don't check on an annual wellness visit that would lead them to believe or let have them discover an issue that you're having. Stay with me into segment two. I got a lot more to say about this. Welcome back, folks, to segment two of our Saturday episode of the Everything Medicare podcast. And we're talking about the Washington Post article that came out this morning about Medicare not covering physicals. First and foremost, before I go any further with this, folks, this has been going on since the beginning. This is not a new thing. This has been going on for years, decades. And it's just starting to come to light now. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, it's just unbelievable. I've been talking about this and screaming about this for years. It's it's so outrageously ridiculous that the best way to catch or treat a disease early on or even find out you have it in the first place is to have a physical, in my personal opinion. It's the most accurate and detailed way to diagnose you for any future problems. It's save an insurance company, or Medicare, I should say, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars every year if they cover these physicals, but they're not smart enough to know that. Let's continue with this this article here. Because I think this is fascinating. Okay, at sub at subsequent annual wellness visits, the doctor and patient will review these issues and check basic measurements. Also, beneficiaries can re- also receive other covered preventative services such as flu shots at those visits without a charge. When the Medicare program was established more than 50 years ago, its purpose was to cover and diagnose and treat these illnesses and the injuries of older folks. Preventative services were generally not covered, and routine physical checkups were explicitly included, along with routine foot care, excluded, excuse me, explicitly excluded, along with routine foot and dental care, eyeglasses, and hearing aids, and that hasn't changed today. Foot care, glasses, hearing aids, dental, none of that stuff is covered by original Medicare today. That doesn't change, and it's true, they have added things over the years. The, the article goes on to say, over the years, preventative services have gradually been added to the program. Um, Medicare beneficiaries pay nothing as long as their doctor accepts Medicare for approved services. This is true. And they have gone through and added some things over the years, but the fact that they haven't added the physical as of yet, and that wasn't the first preventative service act that they added, is freaking ridiculous. Excuse me. I'm sorry. And the fact that it's just coming to light now, that it's just starting to get headlines, is a joke to me. This is an old, ancient problem that everyone that's on Medicare has known about for a long time. And if you haven't known about it, it's just because you haven't had a physical done. You haven't been in for that rude awakening. The article goes on to say... To add more confusion, Medicare beneficiaries can opt for a welcome to Medicare preventative visit within the first year of joining Medicare Part B, which covers physician services. Like I said, welcome to Medicare physical in your first year. Never again. What does this mean for you? It means that you need to be aware of this. Because... Like the, I think the article does do a very good job of specifically mentioning that you need to specifically ask for a wellness visit and make sure you're not getting a physical. Although, I think a physical would do you more good, frankly. But you don't want to think it's covered and then get a bill later like this poor lady did. And this has, happened, this has been going on for years Every time I work with a client of mine that chooses to have original Medicare as their primary insurance, which a lot of people do because they might take a Medigap or something along those lines to coordinate benefits, be their secondary, um, I try to make sure that they know its limitations. 
Because there is an, an advantage and a disadvantage to having original Medicare as your primary insurance, and there's an advantage to disadvantage of having a Medicare Advantage plan do it. And this is one of the major disadvantages of original Medicare being your primary insurance. There's a lot of other preventative services that they leave off, but this is the most outrageous and the, and the, and the most unacceptable thing that they've left off. It's just it's ridiculous that they we're still talking about this in 2019. Not that we're still talking about it. I've been talking about it forever. But to the fact that it's just coming to light in the mainstream media. The article continues to say, A recent study published in the journal Health Affairs found that in 2015, just over half of practices with eligible Medicare patients didn't offer the annual wellness visit. That year, 18.8% of eligible beneficiaries received an annual wellness visit, the analysts found. Why is that? Because people are so gosh dang confused, they don't know what they can and can't get. They just think they don't have preventative care, and that's not the case. It's outrageous and it's ridiculous. The article says primary care physicians generally want to see their patients at least once a year, Munger said, but it needed to be a complete physical exam. A wellness visit or even a visit for a sprained ankle could give a doctor an opportunity to check in with the patients and make sure that they're on track with preventative and other care, Munger said. Dunn said, which is, if you don't remember, this is the lady that got the $400 bill. When she called the doctor's office about the $400 bill, The staff told her that she had signed papers agreeing to pay whatever Medicare didn't cover. Dunn didn't dispute that. There were a lot of papers that I signed, she said, but nobody told me I would get a bill for $400. I would have remembered that. In the end, the clinic waived all but $100 of the charge, but warned her the next time she'll have to pay $300 if she wants an annual physical with that doctor. If she comes in just for an annual wellness visit, she'll be seen by a physician assistant. She's lucky. She's lucky that they even waive that much and they only charge her $100. But this is a woman that was covered on Medicare, was under the impression she could get a physical because what type of insurance nowadays in 2019 won't give you a freaking physical? I'm sorry, I'm just a little heated about this. This is a red button for me, folks. Um, I'm a little more animated than I normally would be. But this is poor woman goes into a clinic, and a lot of times there's two reasons why the doctor's office won't tell you about it. Number one, they don't know. Because I've talked about in the past, in one of our recent episodes where I talked about how to avoid billionaires, one thing I said in there multiple times is doctor's offices don't know hardly any more about your insurance than you do, and there's a chance you might know more about it than they do. So they don't know you're going to be charged for it. They don't have a clue. They just type in the things and whatever insurance pays, they pay, and they don't even know if there's a billing error. Or they do know, and they still want you to have it done because they want to get their money. There's two different scenarios here. But this poor woman went in thinking it'd be covered. She wasn't told it wouldn't be covered. The information isn't out there. There's not a whole lot of me's out there that are provide this information for free. I don't cost folks anything to listen to the, to the, the content we put out. Um, <sighs> stay with me into segment three. I got to calm down and we will wrap this puppy up and I'll give you my final thoughts. Stay right where you are. Welcome back, folks, to the Everything Medicare podcast. This is segment three, our third and final segment about this topic. I'm going to put a link up to this article so you can see it on our Twitter page, which is C underscore E underscore Brindle, which is my personal Twitter page. I'm also going to put it up on our Facebook page, Christian Brindle Insurance Services, if you'd like to read this article from the Washington Post in full. It's a fascinating read to me, but but this is a problem that has been going on for a long time, and they're just, they are behind the ball. Everything they said in the article is completely accurate, but it's something that has been affecting Medicare beneficiaries for the last 50 years. And you need to be aware of this. If you're on original Medicare, 
And if it's your primary insurance and you have a supplement, make sure you're not getting a physical. Because people all around the country, every day almost, every week, every year, every month, are getting charged for physicals. And they think they have full coverage or it's going to be picked up as a preventative service. It's a surprise. I've seen people that have been on Medicare for 15 years and it happens to them the first time and they're just dumbfounded. They think something's changed in their coverage. It's not changed. You have to, and you also have to make sure, make absolute sure that the provider's office is billing it up the right way and they're doing the service you ask because if you're not clear with them, they'll bill it up as a physical. These are people that are overwhelmed as it is. And like I said, and I don't mean this to be demeaning to any of them because a lot of them do a great job and they do the best they can, but they're underqualified to work with the insurance and bill it properly. That's, that's one reason. Another reason why we have so many billionaires in this country is because everything is done on systems and codes and it's very easy to make a mistake because there's probably two or three different codes for, for the same thing or there's two procedures that are very similar to one another and have very similar codes. It's easy to get them mixed up. It's a combination of the two. So, make sure. Now, if you want to get a physical done and you didn't know the original Medicare doesn't cover it or bring give it to you, just know most Advantage plans will. Now, Medicare Advantage plans have other limitations. You can listen to prior episodes about what those are. I've explained them time and time again, and I'll continue to explain them in the future, but today is not a time for me to do that. Just know that most Medicare Advantage plans will give you a physical along with all the other preventative services that Medicare on its own will leave off. But like I said, they have their own limitations. In a nutshell, I'm not saying it's bad to have original Medicare or an Advantage plan or one's better than the other. What you need to understand is both sides of the coin. Because there's only two ways to go with your Medicare. You can have an Advantage plan or you can have original Medicare. And, and a supplement or something or a group plan that goes with it, something like that. But there's only two sides of the coin. And both sides have their positives and negatives. Last On Monday, I did a podcast where I said 80% of the difficulty of being on Medicare is deciding whether you'd rather be with original Medicare with a supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. Because everything you ever hear about falls into one of those two categories. There's just two sides of the coin. There's not three sides, four, five, six, seven, eight, two sides. So keep this in mind. Make sure if you're on original Medicare that you're getting an annual wellness visit and you're being explicit about that and making sure that the provider knows that and you're not getting a physical and you won't get a bill. If you're on Advantage Plan, just disregard this because it doesn't have anything to do with you. Like I said, I'm going to put this link up on our social media accounts, so check us out there. Um, And if you want to know more of my little insider secrets about Medicare, I'm working on a new book that's just about insurance in general. I've been sitting down and talking with experts and professionals in all different types of insurance, doing research for my new book. It could be out in a year, it could be out in two years, it could be out in six months. I'm not sure how long it will take me, but I'm putting a lot into this book. It's going to be my biggest book to date. Um, But for now, Medicare Guidance is out. It's $5.50. And it's a 50-page somewhat book that basically, if you can get through cover to cover, it's not a page turner because it's a book about Medicare, but if you can get through cover to cover on it, you'll know more about Medicare than 90% of the population, including probably your agent. So pick it up. It's worth it for the $5.50, maybe $10 plus shipping and handling for everything. So for about $10... You can save yourself hundreds, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of dollars by making the right decision on premiums, coverage, knowing what you're doing. It's a no-brainer. And if you like these episodes coming twice a week, please let us know. Shoot me an email, Christian B, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-B, at xmission.com, Christian B at xmission.com, and let me know. Let us know. If you like these episodes and you like more of them, if you'd like them coming twice a week, because we're going to base our future of doing these once a week or twice a week on your guys' reaction. You folks that are listening, drive the bus with these things. 
So please let me know. If you happen to live in Florida, Utah, or Idaho, and you're not sure if you're on the right thing for, for your Medicare wise or you're turning 65 or whatever your case may be, and you'd like to work with me, please reach out to me at my office at 801-255-5340, 801-255-5340. Those are the three states that my company does business in and works with people in, and so we'd be happy to help you. 801-255-5340, Christian Brindle Insurance Services. If you, don't, if you live in one of the other 47 states, pick up my book. It'll help you. I guarantee it. Thank you for spending some time with me on your weekend. Hope you have a fabulous weekend, and I can't wait to bring you another episode on Monday. Take care.